The WNCC community says goodbye to two high-ranking educators during a reception held Tuesday afternoon at the Harm Center. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, it will be a changing of the guard for executive leadership at Western Nebraska Community College as staff bid their adieus to their outgoing president and executive vice president. There are a few tears, but mostly smiles as the WNCC community said goodbye to Todd Holcomb and Kim Custer-Dale, both who have accepted leadership positions at new colleges. Dr. Holcomb will be heading east as the new president of Hawkeye Community College in Waterloo, Iowa, while Custer-Dale will head west to lead Western Wyoming Community College. Both said they've truly enjoyed their time at WNCC. This has been a great, great experience for me here at Western Nebraska Community College. Uh, I love the people. Um, I love the panhandle. Um, I also uh, feel like uh, this has been a great, great fit for me. And it's been absolutely, I don't want to get teary-eyed, but it's been such an honor and privilege to work with all of you and to be part of your family. And I look forward to continuing to see the great things that you're doing. Also recognized at the reception were longtime WNCC employees Lori Alkire and Peg Wolf, both of whom are retiring after years of service. Well, a big tourism event is coming to the Panhandle next week, and the public is invited to attend an educational opportunity ahead of the Tour to Nebraska. West Nebraska Bicycling Club member Katie Bradshaw will be hosting two bicycle-friendly driver training courses to prepare the community for the 400-plus bicyclists that will be taking over Panhandle Roads. Bradshaw will be offering classes for drivers on best practices for sharing the road with people on bikes, and the curriculum, which is available through the League of American Bicyclists, includes Nebraska rules of the road regarding bicycles, what sharing the road means, and common causes of crashes, and how to avoid them. But some of the takeaways are what are the laws in Nebraska um, involving people on bicycles. Um, so there's a three-foot passing law that was um, put into effect in 2012. Uh, so we'll talk about laws. We'll talk about common causes of crashes and how to avoid those, because um, there's always something that we can do to be a little bit safer on the roads. The first class is Thursday at 6 p.m. at the Gehring Public Library, and the second class is Saturday at 9.30 at the Scottsbluff Library, and you can get registered for these free classes by going to the Western Nebraska Bicycling Club Facebook page. And Assistant Attorney General Doug Warner has been named Special Prosecutor for a case against a man accused of stealing a pickup belonging to Cheyenne County Attorney Paul Schaub. Court documents say that 21-year-old Thomas Steele Richards stole Schaub's pickup at a Sydney gas station and was later, the vehicle was later recovered near the Wildcat Hills. The investigation revealed that a farmer had seen two males walking on Highway 71 and had given the two a ride to Gehring. One of the males matched the description of the suspect caught on surveillance video at the gas station and Steele Richards was tracked down arrested and charged with a class 2A felony of theft by unlawful taking more than $5,000. He is currently being detained at the Scottsbluff County Detention Center. Online court records say there has not been a date scheduled for his first appearance in Cheyenne County Court. Well, straight ahead, Bill Boyer will be in with your midweek weather forecast. He'll have that right after this on KNEB.TV News. Platte Valley Companies is your home team financial and insurance network that works for you. When it comes to estate planning, you should seek professional help. And when you do, you should have confidence in who you choose to handle your trust. Talking with someone about estate planning is a very sensitive thing. At Platte Valley Bank, we pride ourselves in keeping our trust operations local, serving our neighbors and friends. Respect for tradition, coupled with vision, that looks to the next frontier. Platte Valley Bank, a Platte Valley company, member FDIC.
time when students can learn faster than teachers can talk. We are redesigning instructional delivery to foster curiosity and relevance to the real world. We are doing more than giving them devices. Our professional, progressive, and personal staff prepare them for life. At Moral Schools, your child can thrive. Arby's $5 meal deal is the perfect bag lunch. Any of these sandwiches with curly fries and a drink for just $5. Arby's, you're the best mom ever. Arby's, we have the meat. This is KNEV.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meat. Very, very, very nice evening coming our way. Temps fall into the uh, 60s by 7 o'clock down into the 50s as we get towards sunrise tomorrow. A very, very comfortable night. You're going to like tonight. Storm chances return tomorrow, and it is going to be active for most of the next 7 to 10 days with temps near or slightly below normal on the whole as we go forward over the next uh, week to 10 days. Yesterday, 69. That was short of normal by about 11 degrees. Nothing more in the rain gauge, just a few sprinkles. Still almost an inch now below normal. Again, June is a, a month that we typically get the majority of our precepts, so we need to start piling some up here in June, and it would, looks like that's coming for us the next few days. Here we go over the last two weeks. Again, we had this brief stretch here of about a week with above normal temperatures, and then we've fallen back below normal here. Uh, yesterday, again, 11 degrees below normal at that 69 degree high. So we've been below normal. And uh, it looks like we're going to continue below normal. A big part of the country. Look at this huge swath of the country uh, here from the northeast all the way into the desert southwest trending below normal. So a good chance of cooler than normal temperatures across our area and also wetter than normal. Most of the east uh, right in through our area all going to be in the wetter than normal category. So good chances over the next, this is 8 to 14 days. So the next two weeks cooler and wetter than normal weather looks like it's coming our way. We're in the 60s and 70s right now across the region. Very pleasant, comfortable readings out there. No major issues at all. 66 in Cheyenne, 72 right now in Torrington and in Ogallala. Winds have been lighter today, much lighter than yesterday. They got quite gusty at times yesterday in, in that 5 to 10 mile an hour range. Nothing to worry about severe weather wise really in the whole country tonight. Certainly not in our area as uh, we're going to stay dry. Now tomorrow, we start to bring in a marginal chance of severe storms up maybe into the southeastern panhandle and then on into a, a Friday. We drag that further to the north again, primarily to our east, I think, is where we're going to be dealing with severe weather. That's probably where the heaviest rain is going to be, too, is in that portion of Nebraska as we go through the next seven days or so. Let's look at future cast tonight. Nothing going on. It is going to be dry, calm, quiet weather, maybe a couple of clouds towards sunrise. Otherwise, that's it. Nothing really to worry about. Temps in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. Very comfortable night out there. Get out and enjoy this one. Then tomorrow, we bring in a couple of breezes at times. Mostly going to be sunny throughout the day. Then we're going to bring in a few hit or miss isolated late day showers and storms across the region. And again, they will be isolated, but enough that we're going to notice them here across the area. And you'll see a few pop up tomorrow. And uh, it's going to be a, a warmer day tomorrow. This may be our warmest day of the next several coming. 76 in Cheyenne. Everywhere else, though, pretty much into the uh, mid-80s for highs tomorrow. Rain going to be a scattered, hit or miss variety, and uh, the map went away there, but most everybody just a couple of hundredths of an inch of moisture. Not anything widespread tomorrow from hit or miss showers or storms. Partly cloudy tonight. Lows down around 48. Tomorrow, isolated late day storms, maybe 20-30% chance of those. Highs in the mid-80s. It's going to be a very mild day tomorrow and a mild day again on Friday before we turn things cooler and stay quite active through our seven day forecast. Right now, Dad's Day looking a little chillier. Highs only about 70. Good chances of showers and thunderstorms from Friday all the way through Tuesday of next week. Maybe by next Wednesday, things start to calm down a little bit, but you can see highs bouncing around that 80 degree mark uh, above or below it for most of the next seven days. The pecan chicken salad and ultimate BLT sandwiches from Arby's. It's like eating a whole farmer's market. Arby's, we have the meat for sandwiches. Are you ready to join the celebration? Then what are you waiting for? Switch to Viero today and find out exactly why we're better. 
more towers than the competition, convenient stores in your neighborhood, friendly, helpful customer service, and top phones at excellent values, such as the iPhone XR for free. That's right, get a free iPhone XR when you purchase any other iPhone of equal or greater value. Vieira Wireless, your better choice for wireless service. Nebraska U.S. Senator Deb Fischer, a member of the Senate Agriculture Committee, joined President Donald Trump on Tuesday on his visit to the Midwest focused on the year-round sale of E-15 gasoline. The president was briefed on disaster relief efforts in Iowa and Nebraska and also took time to sign an executive order lifting the summertime ban on E-15 gas blends, allowing for year-round sales. During a Fox Business News interview this morning, Fisher praised President Trump for taking the action, and she also discussed the importance of passing the United States-Mexico-Canada agreement. Well, this past weekend, Roman Catholics from Wyoming, Colorado, and Nebraska marked the 20th anniversary of a shrine featuring one of the largest concrete sculptures in the U.S. and the largest in Wyoming. A 30-foot sculpture of the Virgin Mary stands at the center of the Our Lady of Peace Shrine outside of Pine Bluffs in southeast Wyoming. Nearby at the shrine are 14 carvings representing the Stations of the Cross, a series of events in the life of Jesus Christ. The Wyoming Tribute Eagle reports that a Mass and devotional prayers took place at the shrine on Saturday. Ted and Marjorie Treferin of Cheyenne built the shrine back in 1999 after touring shrines in Europe. And Flag Day is this Friday, and the VFW Sons of the American Legion and the DAV Chapter 10 will be presenting a Flag Day program at the Western Nebraska State Veterans Home. During the program, the Sons of the Legion will have a flag folding presentation and explain what each fold of the flag represents. The program will be this Friday at 9.30, and the public is encouraged to attend. Well, straight ahead, we'll head on over to the Panhandle Humane Society to meet their featured Head of the Week. Don't touch that dial. KDB.TV News will be back right after this. Exceptional care, right here at home. That's the mission of Morrill County Community Hospital. Morrill County Community Hospital is a 20-bed critical access hospital that owns and operates clinics throughout Bridgeport, including specialty outreach clinics and Morrill County Home Health Clinic as well as Chimney Rock Medical Center, located in Bayard. Our dedicated team is committed to you and our community every time at Morrill County Community Hospital, Bridgeport, Nebraska. When we transform Nebraska corn into ethanol, it doesn't disappear from the food supply. It just takes a little detour. Ethanol is made from the starch. The rest of the corn becomes livestock feed to create meat and dairy products, corn oil, sweetener, and other food ingredients, and maybe a little carbon dioxide to make your soft drinks fizzy. Homegrown ethanol helps satisfy America's hunger for energy and the world's appetite for feed and food. Nebraska's Family Corn Farmers, sustaining innovation. Now is the perfect time to upgrade your windows with Renewal by Anderson of Wyoming. For a limited time, buy one window and get the second window at 40% off. Plus, no down payment, no monthly payments, and no interest for 12 months. Call to get a free, no-hassle estimate on superior quality Anderson windows featuring advanced technology and an industry-leading warranty. All with no down payment, no monthly payments, and no interest for 12 months. And our limited time, buy one window, get the second for 40% off special. Call Renewal by Anderson of Wyoming at 307-215-7493. carrying fame. Get your Husker Visa debit card so you can take the game with you. Free with first free checking. Welcome back. For this week's featured pet of the week, we meet Maliki, a high energy pup that needs a great forever home.
All right, so we have Maliki here. He's about two years old. Um, he has all of his vaccinations. He um, is current on his rabies. His neuter is up to date. Um, he, um, he loves to play, he loves to cuddle, he loves all dogs and cats and pretty much any other animal that there is. Um, he's a great dog. He loves to just kind of run around and be his own little dude and um, he is $150 with an approved adoption application and so he, he's just awesome. I love him. To meet Maliki or any of the dogs and cats they have available for adoption, you can head on over to the Panhandle Humane Society Monday through Saturday during normal business hours. Well, straight ahead, we'll take a peek at what's happening around the region on the First State Bank community calendar. For the card carrying fame. Get your Husker Visa debit card so you can take the game with you. Free with first free checking. It's a place unlike anything I've ever seen where the whole focus is kids. From the community to the administration to the teachers to the coaches, everybody is doing everything they can for your kid. Kids get to play multiple sports, multiple activities that develops a sense of responsibility and time management is really helping to prepare them for life down the road. You know, what I would say to somebody that's considering moral is you're a person here that's really, really cared about and loved. Think a utility vehicle should do more than take you places? So does Kubota. That's why our all-new Sidekick is built to do it all. Climb more. Tow more. Go more. Cross over to more today. Take your Kubota Sidekick home with no money down and 0% financing for 36 months. Your local Kubota dealer is Sandberg Implement and Gehring. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a peek at what's happening on your midweek community calendar. That's a look at today's community calendar brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. At TCN Moore in Scotts Bluff, we believe it's the little things that make your house a home. Start with home decor. Brighten up any room in your house with flags, wall decorations, and custom art pieces. Next, brighten up your wardrobe with clothing and accessories like jewelry and purses from the Myra Collection. And remember, seniors and military members receive an additional 10% discount. Visit our website, tcandmore.com, and like us on Facebook, TC and More, 1621 Broadway, beautiful downtown Scotts Bluff. KNEB presents country music rising star Dylan Scott. I'm hooked on kissing. 
Friday, August 16th at the historic Midwest Theater in Scotts Bluff. Presented by Allo Communications and Vieira Wireless. Tickets are on sale now at the Midwest Theater box office by phone at 632-4311 or at MidwestTheater.com. Dylan Scott, August 16th at the historic Midwest Theater in Scotts Bluff with KNEB. There's a place where folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged, fire and flavor come together, and new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Visit the experts at Paul Reed Construction, your authorized Big Green Egg dealer. Platte Valley Companies is your home team financial and insurance network that works for you. Platte Valley Bank provides a broad range of financial tools for your short and long-term business needs. Our experienced commercial lenders will work with you every step of the way to help your business grow. At Platte Valley Bank, we are proud to provide you with local decisions by hometown people for your hometown business. Respect for tradition, coupled with vision, that looks to the next frontier. Platte Valley Bank, a Platte Valley company, member FDIC. And finally tonight, Theater West in Scottsbluff is gearing up for the start of their 2019 summer repertory. This year, a total of four productions will hit the stage at the new Platte Valley Company's Performing Arts Center. Three musicals, Forever Plaid, Shrek, and The Music Man will feature the main Theater West crew. And the Theater Opportunity for Youth Camp will also be doing a production of The Lion King Jr. Forever Plaid will debut on Friday with additional shows on June 15th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Artistic Director Patrick Newell says with all the renovations going on, they wanted to start with a smaller show for the Summer Repertory debut production. It had, we had to put in a lot of thought, especially for our first production, uh, because we didn't know exactly what our move-in date would be. And we knew that we wanted something small so that we can test out all the new systems and make sure that everything is working correctly. So one of the shows that we did back in the early 2000s that was really popular was Forever Plaid. And we figured that would be a really good production to bring back. It's a small cast, it's a small set, small band, and we can put the show up relatively quickly. So all of the cast that we've hired, the four men, uh, are all people that we've used in the past, including some local favor favorites like Ty Hebert. Okay. And we brought back a few performers from last summer as well. The box office is open Monday through Friday from 10 to 4, as well as one hour before a curtain. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you here next time. <laughs>